one. You, I use my rain powers and force it out. Then, well, first, if you're talking safety, I've got to make sure everybody's out of the way. Do you want lightning or not? I would be impressed if you could do lightning at your age. And since you... Wait, how long have you known about your power? Well, really my whole life. I mean, my mom told me and then when she died... Well, I guess I just knew. So, yeah, pretty much. Oh. Well, um, cool way to know about your powers, <laughs> I guess. Well, I know, so, yeah. Um, I have a question for you now. Who is that man in the red cape? The guy you were talking about. No one can say his name because, well, just don't say. He is not a good man. That's all you need to know. Please, I want to know more. So, he's able to do this thing where he can like take over people. He's like a one-man army this way. He's one person. scar that ends up somewhere on them. Most of them it happens on their cheeks, some on their feet, and nobody really knows otherwise. So, if you ever see someone with a red scar, tell me and I'll know if it's his scar. Okay, but what happens to the people? The people that he took over, he's the only person who can see them. They walk around in white clothing, the girls in white dresses, and the boys in white pants and shirt. Nothing really else. Their hair is down, and you can't tell anything. Their expressions are blank, and they're kind of like zombies just walking around with no purpose. But then the people that he took over, or their bodies, they have the scar. So with the scar, they walk around and make other people like him. He controls them. And that's as best as I can explain it. Oh. Ah! Ow. Mm. History lesson. Uh. Staff! Oof! Really? Ah. Won't move. Ugh. Got it. My hair's ruined, that's for sure. Uh, you okay? Yeah. Just really tired, and my dress is getting all torn up. The back is all torn. Ugh. I have the perfect outfit for you. Outfit for you. Um, there's a tree over there. I demand to know why I am walking around in underwear. You are not walking around in underwear. It's a plain white dress. In other words, underwear. Ugh. Fine, if you want it to be underwear, it can be underwear. Oh gosh, but I don't have any anything else for you to wear. And I kind of buried your other clothes. Um to grow flowers. Oh my! Okay. 
I'll just calm myself down and I hope I don't walk by any boys. Don't worry, I don't know any boys. Oh, so you don't think we'll run into any? Please, dear. I am 599 years old and um, I'm pretty sure I have never met a boy. Well, of course, besides my dad. But I'm pretty sure that he's not a boy. You're pretty old. Well, I am a forest, so... Yeah, I have a reason to be old. I know forests way older than me, too, so... Fine. Ugh. Let's go lay down by that... Tree. Marissa! Marissa! Oh my goodness, it's Marissa! Marissa, it's you, it's... Marissa? Uh. Hello, dear. Sorry, I'm um, not quite myself. Big warning sign on her cheek. Seriously, step away. Marissa, it's you. I mean, I can't believe that. Yes, dear. It's me. It's me. Your father has been gracious to me. That explains the beautiful dress. And he has given me. He has given me. Marissa! Marissa! Marissa, where are you? Marissa! <laughs> Honey, it wasn't Marissa. I swear to God, it wasn't. to get away from this place. The rest will grow soon. Your powers with nature are good. I couldn't grow a flower when I was your age. Well, my mother was a marvelous teacher. The wind has stopped. I have asked Dick to. Oh. Um. When you say that you're a forest, does that mean you have your own forest? Yes, dear. You're a smart one. It's called the Fern Forest. It's all mine, and I can... This isn't funny. 